As daily COVID case numbers go down, the push to get kids back in school more is growing, but is it actually feasible? We want to welcome in the superintendent of the North Syracuse School District, Dan Bowles. Dan, thanks for joining us tonight. Appreciate it. Um, thank you, Jeff. I like being here. Thank you. Good. All right, let's get to these. Um, districts are trying to increase, trying being the key word, to increase the amount of in-person learning for students. Um, you're doing that at the junior high and the high school starting on Monday. So what's going to be happening there? Let's talk about that first. So our junior high and high school, um, because we're so large, uh, started out at one day a week of in-person learning. So what we're able to do is we're basically merging our cohorts and we'll have cohort A coming Monday, Tuesday, cohort B coming Thursday, Friday, still with a hybrid day of Wednesday in the middle. What is the uh, status, uh, so that takes us 7 through 12, what's the status of the, the pre-K to 6, the, uh, the elementary schools, I'm, I'm guessing here? The, the pre-K through 6, we're already in a hybrid mode of coming two days a week, and right now we're awaiting the guidance for social distancing to be relaxed, and when that happens, uh, we'll be able to get uh, more students in to come uh, possibly five days a week, and uh, we're just waiting to see when and if that happens and uh, planning uh, for that in the near future. Uh, what kind of undertaking would it be to have every pre-K to 12 student in your school buildings five days a week? That's asking a lot, isn't it? Uh, it, it is. Uh, our pre-K currently does come five days a week and we do have certain special classes that are coming either four or five days a week. But, uh, Jeff, we have 11 buildings uh, in our district. So uh, uh, you're talking about just moving of furniture. You're talking about if the social distancing guidelines are relaxed, not only for classroom, but for busing, for physical education classes, uh, chorus classes, your cafeteria. So um, it, it's not something that we can turn a switch and do the next day. Right. A lot to uh, take into account, I imagine. Um, the state had been asking for vaccination rates of teachers. That was supposed to be due uh, today, I believe. Um, you said that that has been delayed now. Is that correct? At least paused for the time being. Any reason why that may be? Or? Um, that is correct. Uh, we did get some uh, emails that told us to, to hold off on uh, inquiring about that and also uh, logging it into the portal. So mm. we're just waiting for some clarification. I know it was an executive order by the governor, but uh, we were asked to pause right now. But I'm assuming at some point they will want that information. Did you have a, um, a rough guess? I know you haven't collected, but if just kind of anecdotally what, what you think you may be at in the district, even roughly speaking? Uh, Oh, I can tell you that uh, as of last week, we had over 80% of oh. our staff had at least had their first mm -hmm. vaccination. And our teachers have been very eager and willing to get vaccinated. They want to um, be in school with our students and uh, be safe amongst their colleagues. Would you, would you guess that you could get very close to 100%? Is it one of those things where it's been tough for maybe those, those last few to book? And also, I know that um, there's been a bit of staggering. You don't want everybody in any organization to all go do it at the same time, right? I, I think we're going to get close, and I do have to thank our county and um, Ryan McMahon have been exceptional for helping the educators and people uh, get vaccinated and we're doing a tremendous job in this county in getting people what they need, whether it be at the state fairgrounds or at the On Center. Um, I'm curious your thoughts on this one. So the uh, state had asked the federal government for a waiver so that it uh, didn't have to have the standardized tests and, and more specifically have them count, I guess, against or for um, districts. Also, um, similar kind of thing with uh, regions. Uh, feds came back and said, look, we're not going to approve that waiver, but some caveats, give those tests, they won't count against you. Um, and also we're looking at uh, some changes possibly to regions. I think the Board of Regents will, will get everything set um, when they meet in mid-March. What, what are your thoughts there? What's fair, what's not fair, what's realistic, what's possible? Well, the fact that we're only supposed to test the students that are in person with the guidance that we were given. Uh, I think that what they want is they want to get an assessment of where our students are and not penalize teachers and or districts. So that's why they're moving forward because there are going to be gaps that students have given uh, the COVID situation and, and how we've gone in this hybrid. 
So it'll give us at least a starting point of what do we need to tweak as long as we can get the results back in a timely fashion. Hmm. Uh, we, I know we just kind of finished one break, but uh, spring break actually is not that far away. It's kind of one of those earlier ones, the way things fall this year. Um, some families traveled. Um, they may for spring break too. Um, teachers, staff are part of families. Um, what do they need to remember if they do that about testing and quarantine rules before they come back in your school buildings or any of our school buildings here? We, we've sent out regular communication to our families and to our staff uh, several times about if you travel outside of uh, the state. Um, we're following the New York State travel guidelines and you would need to test three days before you leave that state and four days after you get back. Otherwise, you would have to quarantine for 10 days. Mm -hmm. Uh, Dan Bowles, the uh, superintendent of the North Syracuse School District. We are unfortunately out of time, but uh, this was a great conversation. I had a, I had a good time. Uh, hopefully you'll come back and join us again soon. Absolutely, Jeff. Thank you. All right. Have a good weekend, sir. Take care.